So this video has been a long time coming, I just haven't made it, but this is a package manager for Windows, and if you're not sure what a package manager is, just know you can type one command and it just automatically installs all your stuff that you need. It's fantastic. Uh, if you're using Linux, you do it all the time, and it's one of the big boons and benefits of using Linux is the speed of the actual software delivery and installation, and then also installing from a trusted source, not having to go to a website, grab the actual software, download it, and do all that whole blah. No longer. We'll use Chocolatey to do pretty much everything. It has over like 5,000 packages on it, so every major software is included. So from Spotify, Discord, uh, you name it, it's in here. Uh, so let's go ahead, install Chocolatey, and start installing some programs in Windows. Now, before we get started, I do live stream over on Twitch Monday and Friday, so if you have a question, be sure and pop into my Twitch stream and ask me live. But with that out of the way, let's get into Chocolatey. So first thing, we'll pull up the Chocolatey website. The website is chocolatey.org, the package manager for Windows. So uh, simply install by clicking install now. It'll give you this prompt. Just come down to this command right here. We'll just click the little clipboard to copy and then just pull up our little start menu. If you right click on the start thing, you should see Windows PowerShell as admin. And then just right click right inside it and hit enter. This goes ahead, goes out, downloads Chocolatey and installs it directly on your machine. Please note during the install, it does show a warning. You need to close out of your shell and reopen it before you get to install a program. So uh, make sure you note that down. We'll close out after this finishes. And there we go. It's already installed Chocolatey. We'll go ahead and close out our PowerShell. Um, from here, we can actually do some other really cool stuff with Chocolatey. If you go over to the little search icon, you can actually search packages. So uh, there's something I wanted to do. I want to do open shell. This is basically a start menu replacement. And I think it's on the chocolate. Let's see if we can find it. And here it is. I had to actually just type shell because it didn't actually pull it in because it's open dash shell. But here is the actual command to type it in, uh, Coco install open shell. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll flip back over to our command prompt. Again, right click. PowerShell is admin, and then just simply paste that in there and hit enter. So this goes ahead, downloads it, and says, hey, do you want to run the script? We'll say yes, and should go through, install the package, and we are done. So now we have OpenShell on here, and we can go ahead and uh, change it around. Now, some people remember this as something else other than OpenShell. I think it was called Classic Shell back in the day. Uh, but this is actually now open source on GitHub. They have a great project, so if you want the old school style, by all means, do that, and you'll have your your old school start menu. So kind of cool, I really like OpenShell a lot, uh, but we're not done yet. There's multiple ways about going around and uh, installing multiple packages. Also, we can bypass that yes prompt as well. So uh, let's see what else we got. We probably need some like Notepad, and uh, we'll grab Notepad++, let's see what it is. Notepad++ right here. Uh, it's actually called Notepad++. All right, <laughs> seems pretty intuitive as far as grabbing that. Uh, and let's also grab uh, Spotify. There's Spotify, you can see that that's the name. And we can actually just string these all in a row as well. Uh, another good, good package to actually grab would be like WinSCP. Let's say I was needing to get in there and, and grab that. It's also WinSCP. So very simple. Let's install all three of those in one command. Again, let's launch into our PowerShell. And we're just going to go Coco, install Notepad++, and we'll grab Spotify, we'll grab WinSCP, and uh, probably Putty too, SSHing into other Devices are also pretty good. I bet it's just named Putty, but let's let's do a search just to make sure we install the right package. And sure enough, it is just named Putty. So uh, let's go ahead, tab over, and uh, before we hit this, we're gonna go dash Y to bypass that yes prompt. So this will install Notepad++, Spotify, WinSCP, and Putty, all 100%. All right, and now we have it all installed. So the 
Probably the best thing about Chocolaty is just like a package manager in Linux, you can update all your stuff all at once. So you can just do Coco, update, all, dash Y. This goes through, looks through all your packages and then updates them to make sure you have the latest and greatest of all of them. So you don't have to constantly be going through all the websites, downloading the new versions. Just install everything with uh, Chocolaty and then it just automatically stays up to date, which is pretty darn awesome. Uh, probably one of the best features of it. Uh, also, we can do Chocolaty uninstall Spotify as uh, I'm not a big Spotify user. And now I did forget to do the dash Y, so we will get prompted. So we'll go yes to, to actually run and uninstall it. You'll see it just disappears. So this is way better than the traditional way of doing things in Windows. And the fact it has a lot of open source projects like the actual open shell menu, so you can actually do stuff like that. And you can just do all this on the fly. Uh, the best part, if you actually look through here as well, uh, if you're into business, I use this quite often to do a lot of deployments because I can easily deploy all over the place. Now it says Puppet, which Puppet is pretty much being phased out for Ansible uh, for the most part. So uh, check out Ansible playlist if you're into the server side of things. Uh, it's amazing as far as uh, the automation you can do and, and just installing and managing programs. This just makes things so much easier. Chocolatey is simply amazing. I think uh, that's the power of using a package manager like this. Also, this kind of breaks you into using Linux as well. So if you actually use Linux, instead of using Cocoa install, you do like apt install, uh, because most of that's where the whole idea from Chocolate, I think, came from was Linux, because that's how Linux has installed and uninstalled packages and updated everything. That's why it's just so much more cohesive when in the Linux realm. But now at least you can get some functionality uh, in Windows with through the Chocolatey package manager. So once you get used to this, you'll probably actually want to switch or even try Linux uh, because it's so amazing uh, the, how powerful these package managers are. And I'm just happy to see a package manager in Windows just be able to do all the things that I love. So with that, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. And as always, thank you to all my patrons. Without you, I couldn't make videos like this one. And I'll see you in the next one.